Hey, what's up guys? Mario back again with another trade video. Today I'm going to go over a day trade that I did make on Tesla stock. Now, if you guys can see in the background, that is a model of the, uh, what they, they're thinking, they're speculating that the uh, $25,000 Tesla car is going to look like. Again, uh, they haven't really um, showcased it yet, uh, but that's what people are speculating. Now, uh, today, in terms of the, 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 the trade that I made, um, I actually was uh, short-term uh, bias in terms of uh, what the price of, the, of Tesla was gonna do. So I was thinking about shorting it today, and I did short it, but there was some news that came out uh, by this uh, website called Electric, where they kind of cover all things, electric cars, electric uh, scooters, everything. Uh, so that article kind of like, uh, pump the stock, I guess you could say, and literally squeeze out a lot of people, including myself. Uh, but overall, the stock trend is, is still intact. I think uh, there is an opportunity for a short-term uh, short for first red day, uh, but it may it's not going to be today, that's for sure. Uh, but I do want to talk about the article because it's very, very important. I also want to talk about my day trade and overall the trend. Now, I'm still a long-term investor in Tesla stock. I still believe in the long-term picture. Uh, but I do tend to day trade it around uh, my core. So uh, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. Let me share my screen and let's get started. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly a chart of Tesla. Now, just to kind of show, this is a one-year chart of Tesla um, and how insane of a move has been doing. I believe the market cap is close to uh, 800 billion. Now, um, just to kind of kind of uh, show you guys compared to before the stock split, there was a stock split a couple um, a months ago, where they uh, they they changed uh, the stock from uh, five to one uh, stock split, and these prices, these lines, I actually wrote these lines before the stock split, and that now it's actually even already crossed that already. So it just goes to show you how insane these the Tesla stock has been moving. So. Uh, I am a long-term investor in it. I, I've been adding dips, so I've been selling on, on pops and adding again. Uh, but in terms of a day trade, because the stock has been moving so much, I felt like there was going to be an opportunity to short uh, on a first red day type of move. I mean, the reason why I started to believe that was because of the Bollinger Bands. Uh, if you guys could see here in the, in the daily chart, it's already crossed above the Bollinger Bands, which, which uh, in a technical sense, uh, it's over already overextended um, and a pullback, uh, a small pullback is, is due. Uh, even in the here in the stochastics here at the bottom right here, it's above 75, it's above 80. That again, that just kind of gives you indication it's, it's overbought. Uh, now again, in terms of when that first red day or where that pullback gonna happen, again, that's never guaranteed. All you have to do is think, look at the price action and kind of figure that out. So I felt like that was gonna happen today. And the reason why is because yesterday had a huge move and closed very strong. Uh, and now let me show you the intraday chart really quickly so you guys can see that. And uh, if you guys look um, in terms of the, well, actually this, this was yesterday's move, huge, huge move. And it had a huge gap up as well. Uh, even it, it gapped above the, the, uh, the one standard deviation based on the options pricing. Uh, so it was way, way overextended. Um, and to me, I felt like because of this move, we're going to get a pullback today. So I was looking at my prices and the way I was looking at it is this. Okay, here are the pre-market levels. Ever breaks pre-market levels as well as uh, the, the, uh, the low of, of, of the day of the open, I think we could get a sell off, a quick pullback. So I did decide to short after, you know, if, well, the, the first sell off, it kind of it, it kind of bounced off the R1 level. It, it tested the volume weighted average price, which is a purple line. And I, my thought process: okay, if it breaks below the low of the day, around which is this around 80, 8, uh, 843, I'm gonna go short, and I'm gonna start covering uh, below these levels, below 834 or even this uh, this R level right here. So that was my thesis. That was my process. Now, it did hold this, uh, this 840 level, it bounced back, it hit the volume weighted average price, and it started to kind of sell off. 
But all of a sudden, we had this news article that came out. Um, and it came out exactly at the time that actually it, it squeezed me out. I actually got stopped out. And if you guys could see here, it is. When did this, uh, when did this article come out? It literally came out. Let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. It came out at 8.57 um, a.m. Central, I believe. Yep, that is Central. And that's when the stock started going crazy. Now, uh, 8.57 is around, uh, let me show you guys in the short what time is 8.57. So you guys can see that. 8.57 a.m. is literally like right here. So like, yep, right here. So when that article came out, again, it started to push and it broke out to new highs. So that article, and I'm sure that article came out even earlier. Let me see. Actually, here's the article right here. See, it came out at January 8th, which is today, at 9.55 a.m. Eastern. So 9.55 a.m. Eastern, which is 8.55 Central. I'm in Central Time right here. So it came out literally right here. So when this article came out, it literally just pushed the stock. Now, that's the reason why a lot of traders actually use services like Bazinga Pro. Um, and Bazinga Pro, actually, let me guys show you guys really quick what Bazinga Pro is. Bazinga Pro News. And the reason why uh, a lot of uh, day traders uh, use Bazinga Pro is because there's a lot of news that happens throughout the day that is breaking news. And if, if you don't cast that news, you might get squeezed out or something bad may happen. So having that news come out right away out of, in your, you know, in your chat box or in your chat, I could give you a, an advantage and also go long. You know, I could have gone long in the stock, um, reverse my trade and gone long because it would have been a really, really nice long trade as well. Uh, but again, overall, I was, my thesis was to go short. So I don't usually like to change my thesis when I, when, when I, when I do short or when I go long. Uh, so that article pushed the stock and it just kept the trend. And if you guys can see, it literally squeezed out. So I stopped out. My stop was above the VWAP. So I actually stopped out at the right level. Didn't really lose more than I, than I wanted to risk. So it's perfectly fine based on my risk management because my, my reward was way higher than whatever I, I lost today. So um, if you guys can see in terms of the stock and how it's acting, it did squeeze out a lot of shorts, but now it kind of started to kind of break below the volume weighted price. Well, excuse me, volume weighted average price, and is now consolidating. Now, based on this, I really think there might be a first red day or pullback on Monday. And those are my thoughts. Um, overall, long-term picture of Tesla, I am still very, very bullish on the stock, and, and the price action looks really good. I think. Tesla could soon uh, hit the $1 trillion market cap. Um, and that, I think, I believe the price will be around $1,000. So once it starts testing 1,000, then Tesla's market cap is around a trillion. So we're pretty much almost like 150%, or excuse me, uh, 20%, 50, you know, like 20%, 30%, uh, 20, around, excuse me, around 15%. Uh, away from that hitting that level, $1 trillion. So that is huge, guys. Um, so let me talk about the article, kind of go over and why it's so important, guys, and why I believe uh, Tesla could definitely hit that $1 trillion market cap. And it's because of this car, the Tesla $25,000 electric car. Now, during Tesla Day, Investor Day, uh, they brought this up. They did announce this car. And they mentioned that they were thinking about having it ready like around three years. But there's some news that came out and this news is coming out of uh, uh, actually China. Here it is right here. So here it is. According to the new Gigafactory Shanghai, because Tesla does have a, a Gigafactory in, in China, documents submitted to the government, this is documents going to the, straight to the Chinese government, Tesla's planning to add a cheaper third model to be produced at the Gigafactory Shanghai as soon as 2022. So that is huge, guys, because during Investor Day, uh, they're mentioning that it might be three years from now. So now they're saying it might be uh, actually, we're already in 2021, so we're talking about one year from now. So that is really fast. So uh, according to the Tesla factory construction project documents exposed to the internet, 
Tesla news domestic model will be directly produced in a Shanghai factory, bigger factory. The position and selling price will be lower than its Model 3, and the price of the new car is expected to remain in change uh, between RMB $160,000 and RMB $200,000. Mass production and delivery may be as early as 2020. So note that 160,000 Chinese yuan is exactly 24,755 US dollars. So again, this is still some speculation, guys. But um, overall, the the whatever the news came out, I mean, it started to look pretty legit. It's starting to look pretty legit, guys. So overall, guys, um, this $25,000 uh, Tesla model may come out sooner than expected. And if it is, um, and if, I think I think Tesla's gonna wait until the Chinese government approves it. And if the Chinese government approves it and everything goes well, I think Tesla will have a press release coming out pretty soon, uh, which will confirm the speculation right now that the $25,000 Tesla car is gonna come out sooner than expected, which is huge. And as you guys can see behind me, this is what uh, a little sketch of what it may look like. It kind of looks like the Model 3, but maybe a little bit shorter, a little bit wider. Uh, so we'll see how it looks. You will see. So um, overall, guys, uh, this is all my overall thoughts about Tesla. Again, I do believe there might be a little short-term pullback. Uh, so I am short-term biased. I am short biased short-term. And again, this is just based on my uh, day trading type of strategies. But I do own Tesla overall in the long-term trend. I've been owning it for over three years, uh, actually close to four years now. And I do tend to day trade it in, in between that trend uh, because there's opportunities there. So if you guys have any questions, or oh, actually let me know what you guys think about the Tesla, uh, uh, $25,000 Tesla model car. Uh, do you think the speculations are real? Do you think it's all bogus? Uh, do you think it's gonna come out in 2022? What are your thoughts? Let me know down below. Also, if you have any questions, and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, guys. Till next one.